Hi guys, it's Mimi. I haven't talked to you in a bit and I've had quite a few people um, reach out to me and say, hey, where are you? What's going on? We haven't heard from you. Where are your videos? And so I wanted to just uh, reach back out and say, hi, I am here and that I am among the living. <laughs> um, life has been a bit challenging, but not in such a way that I can't at least reach out and say hello. I, as many of you know, I was residing in North Carolina and I'm now residing in Nevada. So huge change, time difference, um, climate change, job change, lots of changes for me. And with regards to my health, I'm still in recovery because <clears throat> I just had a major surgery back um, dece early December, um, end of November, early December. So still recovering. I did not want my return video to be one where I wasn't looking 100, but it's early in the morning on my day off and I just had some quiet time and I thought, you know what, this is a great time to go ahead and say hello to everyone. So, hi. <laughs> um, a quick update. Since moving here and establishing myself with the I'm still trying to get established. I haven't found... Um, the doctors that I want. I do have a cancer doctor, which um, I absolutely love. She's great. And um, it's with the Comprehensive Cancer Center. So it's a great um, medical facility to be under. I don't, however, have uh, a, a gynecological doctor and um, I, I want to get established that way. And, but I found, you know, like my other stuff, dentist, whatever, whatever. So, but one of the big things that I have not found that I'm really, really seeking out is a church. Um, but that sometimes takes time because, you know, you want to find somewhere that really, really feels like home. Um, with regards to my health, I'm, again, I'm still in recovery. Um, and recovery's a lot, taken a lot longer than anticipated. You know, I'm at an age where I still feel like things should just pop back into place <laughs> and you know just be normal like really really quickly and it's not um, and I have some um, difficulty with accepting that things are just not quote unquote normal and so um, when I can't do things because I'm still having a lot of difficulty with fatigue and pain and so um, we've had different trials with, you know, medica medications for the pain and nothing really works. I mean, I had Celebrex, which I, I do like, and I did find, um, was helpful, but, um, the side effects really concern me. I didn't experience the side effects, but just, you know, reading the side effects. And honestly, if you read the side effects of, all, of most medications, you'll probably get a little leery, but um, they were, I, I just felt uncomfortable with the side effects, but I did feel relief with the Celebrex. Um, but I'm still trying medications to see if we can kind of alleviate some of the pain. I, I don't, expect to be completely painless or pain free but at least alleviate some of the pain because I'm in like if my pain level is between a 1 and a 10 um, I'm always at minimum at an 8 um, and most days I'm, I'm well beyond a 10 and so it's difficult to be able to function um, with my pain level being so high all the time and I've started back having headaches, um, migraines occasionally, but definitely having headaches on an ongoing basis. And so I don't know if it's um, stress or because I've had some uh, health scares um, when I first started and they were you know, trying to get established and everything with all of my blood work because I am not one of their established patients, of course, they did a blood paneling for me. And in doing so, my numbers were a little bit off and they were concerned about um, me having um, just with my blood work, blood counts and, um, you know, just all my numbers coming back, the potential for 
blood uh, breast cancer although i did have my breast removed they said there is still a possibility that i could have breast cancer again so because of my numbers and everything um, that was one of the things that they were really really um doing a, a lot of extensive um uh testing for um that had me a little bit uneasy not totally scared or anything because what will be will be um, but I had been doing a lot of testing. I mean, at least two times a week I was going for testing. And then um, 